Next little project on my list is this old Toshiba laptop. It's a Pentium 4 era, just 14 inch or whatever. Kind of crappy. I don't actually have a, the correct power adapter for it. I've got one that I'm modifying to work with this. Um, I didn't really have any use for it, but I thought I would use it for another upcoming project where I need to write some EEPROMs. And this is old enough to have a parallel port, which is nice. Which also means, obviously, that my um, EEPROM writer is parallel port based. Hence me doing this. But um, while I have it here, there's a takes an IDE hard drive and I had this out of some old computer and it's missing the caddy or the cover or whatever. Um, I just kind of stuck it in there and it stays well enough. Uh, I actually got this laptop when I got my IBM ThinkPad i series, I believe. Yeah, it was in a little lot, eBay lot with that. Uh, and I'm just now getting around messing with it. Anyway, I'm going to do some upgrades to it while I can. Who cares? Might as well. Um, one of which is CPU. This is a proper mobile Pentium 4, I think 2.2 gigahertz, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. It was only like five bucks off of eBay. And... Part of the reason why I decided to do it is how freaking easy it is to replace the CPU. And look at that. Take off that one panel. Um, I don't even think I need to remove the fan. Actually, I might have to remove the fan to get the heat sink out of there. Although maybe I can just take the sticker off and it'll come out. Anyway, four screws to hold this retention bracket on. Pull the heat sink off. And there's the CPU socket right there. So I'm, I don't actually know if this CPU is going to work. I've, there's very little documentation on the internet. Uh, there's no official documents that I could find that showed CPU compatibility. There's a couple forum posts of this model, which is a what, A15S129 of people asking about CPU upgrades. And I think one of them, the consensus was that you can. It only came with Celerons, and that the chipset will not take anything other than a Celeron. And then another post. Neither of these actually had end ending, you know, final solved uh, posts. So they just kind of were open ended. Uh, second post that I found mentioned that you should be able to put. Pentium 4 as long as you get the, you know the right front side bus which is 400 megahertz on this etc etc and the right socket of course so yeah I'm just gonna stick it in there and see if it works and if it doesn't then I've got a five dollar CPU that I will throw in a drawer and it'll never get seen again so Go ahead and take the CPU out right now and pop the other one in, and we'll see if it boots. Ended up having to re-unscrew re the fan. Um, I could have just lifted this heat sink off of here. Wow. Did it just fine earlier. Could have just lifted it up. What the hell? Come on. And replaced the CPU and then dropped it back down. But... Um, I want to clean off the old paste. And what do you know? It's a good thing I did that. Look at that gross blanket of dust. Oh, boy. Time for a good cleaning. Okie dokie. It's as simple as that. This might be a little bit too much thermal paste. I'm just going to roll with it, though. It won't be that bad. Definitely less than they put on the old Celeron from the factory. Look at that. And that's not counting the stuff that I had to scrape off of the heat sink. Jeez. Anyway. Real 
assembly. Got her all plugged in. Moment of truth. Hey! See that? Pentium 4M. Ha 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 ha! Wow, I'm kind of glad that worked. I was really afraid it was not going to work. <sighs> cool. I need to put a fresh version of Windows on here. Like I mentioned, I got that hard drive out of another old, busted. I think it was a Dell from about the same era. Uh, and I didn't even reinstall XP on it. I just slapped it in here and installed the drivers and it booted. And I was like, okay, whatever. Works well enough for me. I'd say this is booting faster. This thing only has 256 megs of RAM. I'm thinking about putting some more in it. Um, can't remember how much it takes. It, it might only take one gig. But even if that's the case, that's no big deal. Okay, um, since I'm only working left-handed here, let's check out the system properties. See what she says. While I'm waiting for that to happen. Uh, I don't know if the previous owner took it out, but I had to stick one of these mini PCI wireless cards in it because it didn't have one. It has the spot for it, and it had... Oh, we're back. It had uh, two antenna leads in, the, in that crevice. <laughs> so I luckily have a stack of these. Funny story, back in high school, uh, the school district wanted to upgrade the wireless cards in all of the laptops because they upgraded the wireless access points to the what had just come out as new, sort of, well not new, but better, wireless A, 802.11.A. So they had to replace all the old cards with ones that were capable of 802.11.A. Um, and we went there on a weekend, I think, because the STS just wanted us to come in and hang out while this, some guy from the district, one of the main tech guys, uh, came to the school and put in all these new wireless cards. And so he had like a stack of like 50 or 100 of them or, you know, a huge amount of these that we had just taken out. And at the end, he's like, you guys want one of want one of these actually here just take a take a stack of them <laughs> just handed everyone like five of these five or ten of these wireless cards and we're like uh, okay the old ones that is so these aren't the ones that can do uh wireless a but <laughs> i've got a bunch of them this one apparently was bad i marked it as bad uh which was annoying because i pulled this out of storage at my parents house didn't notice that it was bad, that I had even written bad on it. Got it all the way home. Was like plugging it into the socket underneath this thing and saw that bad and I was like, oh my god. Why didn't I take at least two of them? <laughs> Could have easily taken two or three or four or five with me, but I, no, I grabbed one and I grabbed the bad one. <laughs> anyway, so I've got another wireless card in here, or another one of those exactly like that, but not bad. And it works great. But anyway, let's look at this. 2.2 gigahertz Pentium 4M. Uh, this is also um, the old Celeron, I think, is about a 53 watts TDP or something like that. And this Pentium 4 is like 35 watts. So more efficient less battery usage and it'll stay cooler and it'll stay a lot cooler now since I've one put some Arctic silver on it and two cleaned all that disgusting uh, crap in there out of there oh, I can hear the fan going right now which reminds me I need to oil the bearing on that one more thing to do before I button this back up <laughs> anyway um, success with the Toshiba satellite A15 129A or whatever it is 129S whatever upgraded to a Pentium 4 I'll put the stepping code in the description 
2.2 gigahertz, 400 megahertz FSB works just fine. Thanks for watching.